Hey folks, Reloading Bench back again, and this time I can report success. Lots of tinkering, lots of watching videos, a couple of uh, email exchanges with the manufacturer. So first off, this is an old paintball tank that hasn't seen this type of uh, fill in a very long time, just at uh, a little over 4,000 PSI. Uh, pulled this tank out mm, maybe a month or two ago. And it had maybe 700 PSI, so uh, this is now a success story. But it was uh, an interesting journey in getting there. Um, I don't know if you recall, but uh, when in, in the cleanup video, there were a couple of things that were in the white box just floating around. And these two were one of them. I can't remember if one of these white discs was or not. I don't believe it was. But uh, these were the two components floating around in the box, not in bags. And that is the bleed screw, bleed valve, and then one of these O-rings. Uh, metal, maybe brass, I don't know, with rubber on the inside. So didn't think anything of it. Put it back in one of these spare parts kits. So my pump came with essentially two spare part kits uh, no diagram or directions on what any of these are or are for obviously you can look at some of the things on the pump and say okay these are certain o-rings but from a directions point of view there's not a whole lot to the directions essentially two pages of warnings one page of overview and then parts description and then in terms of setting this unit up, it's two pages of more or less plug in and turn on. No troubleshooting, no schematics, no nothing. Which again, not to be unexpected, I wasn't uh, expecting anything high end. But uh, I had seen on other videos where uh, some of the Young Hang compressors talked about having two of these um, white discs in the bleed screw hole. Mine had two. So I thought, oh, that's a mistake. Let me pull that out. And uh, I busted a few of these in the last day. Um, so I used a heat gun or rather a, a soldering iron to melt it to where I could yank it out because once it's in there, it's, it's in there pretty good. And when I contacted the vendor, I had two I'll read this off the email. I had two specific questions. Um, one, I discovered the bleed screw had two white plastic discs. Is it supposed to have two discs? The second question is, also, there's no disc for the air hose. Is it supposed to have a white disc as well? So I told them the motor runs, I get air, but it's essentially about the equivalent of blowing out a, a, uh, a candle. So um, they came back with what I would call somewhat broken... I had to interpret. It said, hello friend, the hose with the FAMAL, F-A-M-A-L-E, FAMAL connector have a white disc. If the pressure can't rise, it must be problem of air leak. Uh, then they say last message, because I sent them multiple messages, O-ring as picture show. Please check other place air leak by water soap best wishes. So I can't ding them for their response because they were timely. I was able to interpret what they actually meant. And uh, they did include a picture to clarify it. Um, I had solved the problem by watching other videos and discovered that this O-ring-ish that was floating around in the white box actually needed to be installed right here in front of what was already installed. The O-ring, uh, or excuse me, um, the uh, air bleed, or excuse me, the hose. So. Uh, as soon as I installed this o-ring into the hose everything worked fine I did try to put a white disc as their email said into the female connector uh, and that was a disaster so I had to take it apart and break it and yank it all yank it all out uh, and I did put a second disc back in here and I noticed that once I did that I was able to achieve higher PSI when I was filling the tank as opposed to just testing and for good, good luck, good measure, whatever you want to call it, I put one of these rings in back of 
the bleed valve. So all is working and I will put everything together here in a few minutes and show you how it is working. Um, what I decided to do, this was the um, air filter that came with the pump. Um, you can see that uh, there is oil and water in there. Um, it wasn't like damp to the touch, but you could tell there was moisture there. So I set that out to dry. Um, I did originally have this connected with uh, the scuba tank line, and I found that uh, there's just, for whatever reason, too much air escaping. So I went to this system uh, for a double filter, and that seemed to work fine. When I took this filter out, this is the side that faces the air coming in, and there was no oil or water there, so it didn't uh, didn't get through the entire uh, filter on this side. So uh, I'm guessing it didn't come through all the way. I've set that out to dry, so when I'm not using the pump or the compressor, I will just let that air dry, um, as well as having uh, the tubes just hanging to air dry this out as well. So uh, I will show this to you what it looks like running. And that uh, when I had this apart, I took that opportunity since uh, I had this off of the unit to straighten this bend and uh, some other paint chips. And then I shot this with some uh, close matching truck bed so that it's got a waterproofish finish because water does drip from here. Um, when you do the release. For the shaking, a little off tripod. I've got the double filter connected with the plug in here so no air should be released. I've got this set to 2000 PSI. We're at about 18 Celsius. I have the pump plugged in. It's not yet flowing and what's cool or what I like about this is once you plug the power in, you should hear and see. So that kicked in right away. We've got water flowing and lead valve is open. And hopefully when I turn this on, things will work. Murphy's Law. This popped out because it wasn't secure and that's why the pressure valve wasn't moving. So let me put this down for a second. Well, this take two that is now in there. This is open. We're at 22. Try this again. Shuts off at 2,000, 22.9. And you can maybe see a little of the water droplets, which is why I kind of wanted to touch that up so that it wouldn't rust. But uh, I would call this a success. We are able to fill at high pressure both filters work. I've got no leaks. Uh, putting this in didn't seem to harm things. Second disc as well as popping that uh, o-ring in there. So maybe the folks at Tuxing thought that by including this in the kit without putting it in a bag I would automatically know to do that. Unfortunately I didn't so maybe that's my bad but uh, this is now a success.